Okay guys, so the tribute hall is here and today I'm going to show you how to get to the tribute hall and explain exactly what's going on, also how you can start the quest to the bad juju. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out and subscribe if you want more Daily Destiny 2 videos. Okay, so to start the tribute hall, head to Werner on Nessus upon his barge. Next to him is a chest costing 5k glimmer to open. Once you do open it, it starts a quest line telling you to head to the tribute hall, which is also on Nessus, next to the menagerie on the director. So load this bad boy up. Once you are in here, you will notice a statue of Callus. Go ahead and talk to it. His inventory consists of champion bounties and tributes. So this is how this works. Firstly, pick up the champion bounties. These are daily bounties, so you can do four per day. I went ahead and quickly did the 50 kill one for the purposes of this video and to progress into the tribute hall because you need one boon of opulence to continue on with the quest. So you will have to complete at least one of these bounties to get into the tribute hall. So completing these bounties you are rewarded the boon of opulence which once you have one go back to this visage of Callus, this statue which you can basically trade these in for a discount on these tributes he also sells. Each bounty completion, each daily champion bounty completion rewards you a boon of opulence and this boon of opulence when given to this visage of Callus counts as one discount and you can have a total of 80 discounts. His tributes you will see cost different materials as well as glimmer from dust light shards to bright dust and they ain't cheap especially when you don't have much discount. Now once you have these tributes you can place them within the tribute hall room. It's also important to note that there are five of some of these tributes you can purchase price going up with each one. So without plenty of materials it will get very very expensive indeed. So people by filling up on these tributes it starts a quest for the bad juju which comes from the center chest. This opens up the mission called the other side which will take you into the ascendant plane leviathan. I haven't got that far yet due to bring you guys this video, this information, but as soon as I do that I will be on it like a fat kid on cake. And when that happens guys I'll bring you a video on it, I'll bring you a guide on it if needs be. Also people once you unlock the tribute hall go into your triumphs and check out the tribute hall triumphs listed as there are more tributes you can earn for this tribute hall via completing certain triumphs people which you can see on screen now. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward when you get the gist of it. Fill up these tributes, open up that center chest and start the quest for the bad juju. Now, many people have already got this thing, which isn't unrealistic. I don't believe it's very long at all. But yeah, guys, if you are low on materials, but have plenty of legendary shards, yeah, spider on the tangled chore is probably going to be your best friend here. Because you've a lot of discount, which we ain't going to be able to get on day one. Things are going to be very expensive and your materials are going to be drained. And that's probably Bungie's plan. They want to drain our legendary shards. They want to drain our bright dust and so forth. So that's probably their motivation behind this. But yeah, guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed leaving a like, really does help out. If you're new and you enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.